Heidi, hi. It's time to talk about safety and this is probably going to be more geared at females and the reason I say that is because uh, when I talk about um, my travels from being solo, um, there's a lot of women on my post saying that they it's their dream to travel um, solo but they're terrified, they're scared, they can't do it, they won't do it, they would never think of doing it and that was me. That was me uh, leaving the Gold Coast for the first time, hugging my daughter goodbye. And uh, I was terrified. I was terrified of how I would be safe as a single woman. I was terrified of how I was going to have, um, how long my savings were going to last, which I don't have much. And uh, when I, how can I get a job? When am I going to get a job? What am I going to do? And even though in the back of my mind, I know that I can find work without any problem at all. But these things still play a part and create a sense of anxiety. So I want to try and address some of the safety aspects for you today and make you feel a little bit more at peace because I really feel it's important that um, when you're traveling, you are enjoying the process and enjoying the journey. So. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the safety things I do um, traveling solo in my van. So just to go through a bit of a routine, when I have finished making dinner at night, I do the dishes, pack them all away, uh, get my toilet out and set it up inside the van. So um, I'm all ready to go because I might be stealthing, I might be, you know, camping completely um off grid and there's no toilets available. So once I've done that um, and I then uh, set up, make sure that my my sun visor is up on my front windscreen, I um, lock all the doors, then I close. That's my blackout curtains there, there's a big gap in them right now because I've just woken up and that's my view by the way, how amazing is that? And the birds came to my door again this morning and woke me up. <laughs> so beautiful. Once I've done the blackout curtains, um, then I I lock the vehicle, lock the van from the inside. And my keys are hanging on a hook here. Now on my keys also is a whistle. And this has a compass and it also has a thermometer on the back to tell you what the temperature is outside. So if you get lost or something. But this whistle is insanely loud and it will take your eardrums out, basically. So this is with me wherever I go. Um, when I'm just going for a walk, exercising, my keys come with me everywhere. So they're just on a hook here right next to where I'm lying. Then I have right next to where I'm lying here. So this is my bed. And I just lift this open here on my bed and I have wasp spray. Okay, now if you get that wasp spray in your face, you are in big trouble. You can get in your driver's seat and take off in a hurry. Make sure that you've got a working smoke alarm in your van. So if you ever get any trouble uh, with smoke, in your van at all, um, this is going to save your life. Now the other thing that um, I designed with this van was to ensure that I could get into the driver's seat internally and not go out. So I don't have any cabinetry blocking my front cab. I can go straight directly inside my cab and drive away. And that was really important to me as a single woman traveling. Now what I also have on this side, on this hook, is one of these. Now that's like a security alarm, a personal security alarm. Now you can hang that on your key ring too. I've got one at my front door, on my driver's seat door as well. And you pull the pin out and it is the loudest siren that would be heard at probably a kilometre away. Um, so that will freak someone out straight away as soon as you pull that. That's hanging next to my bed. 
these shelves here next to my bed, which have all my things in. I've got my trusty insect repellent too, which you should always travel with. Um, then just a few pointers. Okay, so some things that I do just to keep myself safe. So, for instance, when I'm posting on social media, um, if you're as, as uh, you know, active as me on social media, then you, know, you want to post where you've been, what you're doing, a day or two after you've left, just for safety. So if you have followers and people that are, you know, really interactive and involved in your journey, you don't want them trying to follow you or, or work out where you are and, and meet up with you or... So just be really cautious of um, when you're posting. Don't do it live uh, if you're a single woman traveling. Um, what else was there that I was going to say? Um, when it comes to solo camping, you know, I do do a bit of solo camping. It's not something I plan on doing. Uh, I just find free spots quite often. And then I just find that often other people don't rock up. And so I just happen to be camping on my own. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you do it, but I have uh, I've found sometimes it's the most peaceful, beautiful way to camp. And uh, as long as you take precautions. And um, the other thing is make sure that you have um, somebody that you're sharing your location settings with that you trust, family member, a close friend, um, so that they know where you are and uh, check in with them every day and let them know a where you're going b when you've got there um, and you know just even maybe a FaceTime video so they can see your location um, and they get a bit of an idea of your setup so that's also really important um, I think I might have covered it all really I don't think I can think of anything else. But please, if you do have any questions, um, just put them in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, I have absolutely loved my journey so far. I hope that I can continue to travel further afield around Australia. Um, I need to find some way of making some money now. Um, and that's going to happen, but uh, yeah. Just super excited to um, not even know what the future holds at this stage and that and spontaneous kind of lifestyle that really, really excites me. So I hope it excites you too.